We're going to talk first about units of measure. A unit is a means of quantifying something. We'll find it useful to convert units often, and it's important to know that there's multiple sets of units out there in the world. There's the MKS system, and there's also the British system. There are other systems as well, but largely we will work within these two, because we live in the United States, which uses mostly the British system, and because scientists work with the MKS system. Base units are those which are used to develop other more complicated units. So every system of units has a set of base units. And these are fairly simple. I'll list them all. One is for length. And when we talk about units, it's helpful to think about uh, in, in the abstract here. So if we want to talk about length, L will just be used uh, to talk about length in whatever unit system we're talking about. There's also time. And then there's mass. These are the, the typical base units that we'll need to be working with. In the MKS system, the base unit for a length is the meter. The base unit for time is the second. And the base unit for mass is a kilogram, sometimes abbreviated kg. In the British system, It's the foot, and one meter is about 3.28 feet, by the way. The unit of time is still the second, and the unit of mass is actually the slug, but we commonly refer to it as the pound. One kilogram is about 2.2 pounds. We have to say that the unit of, of pounds is actually a force, and it's important for us to remember that because at one at various times we'll be talking about pounds of force. Uh, we'll see why that uh, we interchange mass and force rather sloppily in the British system uh, as we go along further in this course. If you want approximately one meter is about one yard. One second is about the same. And one kilogram, if you want, it's always useful to think that it's about two pounds. Sometimes when we work with the MKS system, although that's the standard that was used in the scientific community, it's difficult to have a, an, an intuition about how big an answer is. And it's helpful to go back to these sort of approximate values that a meter is about a yard, the, um, the unit of kilograms about two pounds. And so it's, it's then it helps us if we want to come back and say some answer is unreasonable or not. The, the, the derivation for these units uh, goes back to a lot of work to devise standards for all of them. The, uh, the, der the, the unit of the second is approximately 9 million uh, vibrations of a ce an atomic cesium clock, and that's what defines uh, one second of time. We know that the frequency of that cesium clock uh, is a certain amount, and so um, we use that, that quantity. The, the, the vibration of the cesium clock is an immutable uh, thing in nature. The distance of one meter has a definition as well. It's the length, length that light will travel in 1,299,792,458th of a second. And that's how we define uh, a meter so that everyone will agree on that, that number. The unit of mass is a little bit trickier, actually. The unit of mass is derived from a platinum iridium cylinder stored in Paris, France, and that's our standard for the kilogram. We all compare things relative to that uh, cylinder. And as, as a standard of a unit for a unit, that's a fairly weak thing to use because if it gets a little dirt on it or if it gets a scratch or if we don't have a perfect balance, then we aren't, uh, we aren't using as accurate of a standard as we are uh, for the other units uh, involving light.
derived units are those for quantities that uh, involve multiples of these base units. So an example might be volume. A volume is actually defined as something that's going to have units of length cubed. And in the MKS system, the standard for volume is one liter, which is 0 0.1 meters cubed. So in other words, it's a box with 0.1 meters on each side. And for those of you who remember uh, the, the prefixes in the, in the MKS system, this is one decimeter on a side. The units of volume in the MKS, or excuse me, in the British system are the gallon, and this is approximately 3.8 liters. That's, um, you can approximate as four if you are trying to remember. There's another, uh, there's many uh, derived units. Um, speed, for example, is defined as something that's going to have length over time. And in MKS units, this would always be derived or put into meters per second as a standard. In uh, British units, this would be feet per second. And that's how we would specify something. You, um, for those of you who are familiar with you know, speeds of cars, you would say miles per hour, but it would also be fine to say feet per second. So uh, speeds are always as a fraction, some, some quantity of length divided by some quantity of distance out of time. Other examples of derived units are acceleration. This is always one unit of length divided by uh, unit of time squared. So in MKS, this would be meters per second squared, or in the British system, this would be feet per second squared. So for example, the standard acceleration of any object near the surface of the Earth is always uh, about 1 g, which is about 9.8 meters per second squared. And it's an exercise for you all to try to convert uh, that this is approximately equal to 32.2 feet per second squared.